Once again, my beloved families, my brothers, my sisters, my elders, it brings me great joy to be here today officiating the nikah of my own daughter. This is the third of my daughters to be getting married. And we ask Allah always to take care of our children. And I'm sure when they ask me, how do you feel that your daughter is getting married? I said she's going from a good family to a good family. She's growing, going from a home to another home. And inshallah, I pray that Allah give them barakah and blessings and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless everything that's going to come out of this beautiful union. And this is the essence of the dua that we are taught to make. The sunnah, the biggest gift you can ever give a couple that get together is just a supplication, a dua. Barakallahu lakuma wa baraka alaykuma wa jama'a baynakuma fi khair. May Allah bless you. May He bless everything that is going to come out of the result of this union. And may He bring you, the two of you together in every goodness. So that is the dua that we leave the bride and the groom with today. And at the same time, a few words of advice. Number one is my beloved son, Mudaffar, and my daughter, Razan. As we officiate your nikah today, we advise you with the advice of Rasulullah to always be conscious of Allah. Everything you do in life ensure that Allah comes first. If that is the case, nothing can go wrong by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if that is the case, the next most important thing is to respect one another. There should always be utmost respect in marriage. There may be a difference of opinion here or there. There might be, for example, one or two things we may not see eye to eye on regarding petties. It happens in every marriage. But if there is the focus upon Allah and His command and there is respect of one another, then inshallah, it's very easy to navigate through the rest. Similarly, part of that respect is to be able to speak to one another with love and kindness. Generally, in my house, I have a rule not to scream and shout or swear at one another. Although sometimes with the little kids, I'm also guilty of raising my voice a little bit. But as they grow older and we realize when it comes to our spouses and those who are slightly older, even to correct them, even to say something to them, we don't need to be loud, to be vulgar, to swear, to shout, to scream. And although I know it's not in the nature of either of you, but it's good to just repeat it. So 